Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff channel and um, I'm back again with another video on OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive. This is uh, a really good solution which I'm using at the moment, which I've used for many, many years, but I've recently signed up to their $79.99 package for the year, which saves you £16 as opposed to the monthly £7.99 um, option. Now, once you've installed it, and uh, if I just go to view online, uh, I've already signed in. As you can see, I've got, um, okay, so let's just wait for this to, to load. My connection is not the greatest at the moment on this uh, machine. Um, I've barely got 15 megabits, I think. Um, so this is the contents of this OneDrive, which uh, personally I'm calling OneDrive number two. Um, to give you some background information, I've been using Amazon um, Drive for the last um, year and a half, maybe two, well, two years almost now. And um, it's been very good. Um, I've had one terabyte for 59.99 for the whole year which was good value at the time and uh, I think it's still pretty good value but um, when I saw the offer that uh, Microsoft uh, came up with which um, let me see if I can bring it up on the screen as you can see the page is loading now um, these these were the options that were out there and for me personally seven pound ninety a month um, which you know is, is very good value um, you know Amazon I believe are moving to um, a similar kind of price for one terabyte or two I'm not too sure. In fact, let's just quickly check what the Amazon Drive is. Yearly cost. Let's see what, what it comes up. I don't normally use Bing, by the way. I usually use uh, Google. Uh, but this is the second account that I'm using on this machine. So when you go into your accounts here, I possibly have two. Well, I've got two at the moment, but I will probably have three, four. Um, Unlikely I'll have five. I'll probably give one to a family member. So uh, let's just quickly have a look at the Amazon. Uh, oh, it was there, wasn't it? Let me just go back. Oh, I just went too quickly forward. As you can see, you got 11.99 for photos and 59.99 a year for everything, which is what I had, which is really good value. Um, um, now, 79 pound a year is the one that. I think it's out there now. Let me just quickly click on that. So you can see Prime uh, does give you some uh, additional value if you if you're into Prime. You know they've all got their their benefits. I had this one here, Amazon Drive. No, I'm not going to sign into that now. Anyway, the point is is that value for money. I thought Microsoft's um, option here of Office 365. Um, it gives me Outlook, um, you know, for my business account. Um, I've got I've got Word, yeah, always the latest Excel, um, OneDrive, which is fantastic, and also um, OneNote, which is one of the main apps that I use. As, as you can see up here, that's one of my favourites for uh, cross-platform sharing of files, documents, and uh, and what have you. Now the the option that I went for, if you click on buy now, if you if you spend, I think if you pay 79.99, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's just 80 pounds for the year. They give you five accounts that you can use, and you know each account will have uh, one terabyte. Okay, I'm not going to go into this anymore, but you can see here, you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, I I think it's a great value for money uh, option, and this is what I'm going with. You know, I had a problem with my external five terabyte hard drive. I've recovered um, most of the stuff using Recover um, from Periform, uh, uh, so I've got most of my files back, and now I've stored them into uh, a drive, which is my one terabyte hard drive spinning disk, which is quite reliable at the moment. But I don't want to rely on that forever, so let's um, let's quickly jump into the actual purpose of the video. Okay, so my point, my point that I'm trying to sort of um, uh, make and, uh, and maybe help somebody out there who's having a similar issue is um, I have lots of files that I want to 
save. Uh, uh, so, okay, the point I'm trying to make is I have many files that I want to save. I've got a lot of uh, snapshots, uh, virtual boxes, as you can see, 29 gigs. You know, I've got lots of uh, different, diff different, um, huge sizes of files that I want to save, and uh, I want to keep them safe somewhere online. I don't mind keeping them online. I'm quite happy with that. So. This solution is very good. The point that uh, OneDrive is gives you one one account for one terabyte, which is probably enough for me now. Um, but I like to separate it, so I've created a separate uh, Microsoft account to log into this Windows 10 machine. I've logged in, I've uh, I've uh, hooked it up to to a different. Let me just go into the uh, more options and settings. I've gone into the options and I've linked it. I've linked it to my second uh, Gmail account that I've um, created. Um, so I've created um, a Microsoft account for that Gmail. So this is my second Gmail account that I've linked to Microsoft. I have five in, in total, but I'm only, I'm only going to use four. So this one here is basically my second OneDrive. So I have to create a new, uh, as far as I know, unless somebody can tell me differently, I had to create a new account on Microsoft. Um, uh, and I had to create a second user for this machine so that I can create a new OneDrive that I can upload uh, my files because my main account which is um, you know the the one where I have all my apps and everything is basically um, for for different kinds of files everyone has their own ways of archiving stuff right so the the point is is that um, if you go into choose folders my main concern was make sure that nothing is going to, to be syncing on this machine so I've actually put here make all files available no nothing is going to be available on this machine on this hard drive and if I just click OK on that the point of the, the purpose of this is I don't want um, I don't want this drive here my C drive my main one terabyte SSD drive um, to be used um, as a cross reference and uh, syncing uh, drive with OneNote uh, with OneDrive so um, you go to choose folders and you make all files uh, available just online so that's that's done and if I just click OK on that, so as you can see here, I've got uh, six folders and one file, and I'm going to illustrate the, the, the best way that I can do this myself. OK, so now what we do is we, we go into the OneDrive uh, here, and you can see the OneDrive folder is empty. There's nothing there. Now, if you create a mapped drive like I have down here, you've got all your folders that you see below this window. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a file. As you can see, it's the same things in, in here that you've got here. But on my local machine here, on the C drive, I've got nothing syncing, as I showed you just a few moments ago. Apologies if I'm repeating these things over and over, but I think it may be helpful for people who are not so um, comfortable in, in, you know, in using uh, Explorer and you know syncing files to OneDrive. You know, so I'm I'm repeating things over just to to help those who who may need to have uh, uh, you know more explanation on on what's going on here. So. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way it is now. So how do you create this OneDrive here? Okay, so let me just show you how you do that from scratch. So you, you open um, a new file explorer. And if you, just, if you just go to PC, computer, um, there's several ways in how you can get to different places in Windows. But anyway, this is how I got to it. So you just go to uh, my computer. So you go to computer and then you do map a network drive and you click on map network drive. Okay, I I chose the letter O for OneDrive, as you can see there. And, and basically you need to uh, put a, a special URL in there, which I'm gonna put in the description below for you to copy. So if I just open my OneNote that I made here, um, what you put in here is uh, essentially this URL here I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And then followed by your CID, whatever that is, goes there. Okay, so that's all you do. Um, let me just close that. I'm not going to add it again because I've already added it, but I'll show you how to get the, the CID that goes in that end of URL. 
So let me just minimize. When you get to this page here where all your files are on OneDrive Online, you just click in the address um, um, bar there and you just grab your CID, which is this here, which is blurred on this uh, machine. As you can see, I've blurred it out, but you know, yours is going to be different anyway. And um, so there's no, this, this, uh, so basically, this is um, uh, a unique um, ID for your machine. So you copy the CID number here you, and you keep it safe and you add it at the end of that uh, string. Once you've done that, your drive connects as so, and you can right click on it and rename it to whatever you want. So I've renamed it to OneDrive 2 because this is my second OneDrive where I'm going to upload my snapshots and uh, larger files um, and, and whatever. Now the limit of uh, file size on OneDrive, I believe is 20 gigs. So some of my snapshots I'm going to have to chop up into um, you know, segments. So for example, if I go to my um, hard drive here, Okay, so here I've got two uh, files where I will uh, basically, um, you know, have to zip them up. And then once they're zipped, I will um, actually cut them into chunks, uh, make sure I have the, um, the, the correct checksum of, uh, of each and, um, and then save them into uh, appropriate folders and just upload them as um, as zipped files which can then be rejoined together again there's a lot of applications out there uh, on uh, how to split and join files and, and they're all pretty pretty good uh, I, i've used uh, hg split and many others in the past and i've actually got a new one that i'm using at the moment i can't remember the name of it now but uh, they all work uh, more or less the same okay so um so that's that. That's how you create that hard drive. Now, the the thing that I, uh, I should mention is that um, when you when you actually uh, and I'll put some screenshots on on here for you um, when you when you actually connect to that uh, URL to create your OneDrive uh, mapped drive. If I just go back to my my OneNote, which is uh, yeah. So once you've connected to your CID with this URL, which is a secure connection, as you can see, you will actually um, be on, now because I have, um, you know, two-step authentication going on, um, I will, I will, you know, have more issues than somebody who, who doesn't for security reasons, obviously. So you'll need to create an app password to be able to, to log into this um, OneDrive um, that we've created. Let me close that. Sorry if this is a bit confusing for anyone. Uh, if you have any questions, just put them down below and I'm sure I'll reply to them as soon as I can or somebody else will. But the point is, is that um, it's all fine and well to, to, to put your username and password. Uh, you will see that, you know, if you have two-step authentication, it will not work. You'd have to put your app password and you'll get an email into your inbox telling you that you have to create one. It tells you to go to the Microsoft portal. Initially, you go to support.microsoft.com, I believe, and then you go to your live uh, account, and you basically, um, you know, you need to create a new app password. Uh, password. So you you go to the security basics. You click on more security options. You you will see an option there to go to app passwords, and you create a new one. Now, once you've created it, um, you know, you make make a, a, a you know safe copy of that somewhere where you know. You, you, you will find it whenever you need it. You know, I've um, I've actually put it into a, a OneNote and I've then uh, encrypted the OneNote with Seven uh, Zip. That's how I've done it. So I've uh, I've got a note with the with the password, which is encrypted. Um, once you have the once you have this um, password saved, you you will see that when you log out of your machine and then you and then you log back into your machine it forgets the password even though you told it to remember it, it actually forgets it or it doesn't use it again for some some reason so you're going to have to type in there again that app password that was created for you by the microsoft portal so that's why it's important that you make a safe copy of it now if you don't have two-step uh, authentication um, then you probably won't have this issue if anyone has more knowledge on this or if anybody is more experienced if they can please let us know you know is that the case uh, do you actually um, 
do you still have the same issues whether you have two step or, or not um, with this um, creation of a one drive um, map drive now you know I love this solution because you know I can use five terabytes effectively um, you know and once the files are synced you know I don't I don't go onto the second you know account on my machine often only when I have something big like an image or a, a snapshot of uh, one of my Linux machines uh, I'm using uh, MX Linux at the moment which is my favorite distro it's very very good um, um, really really impressed with it it's, and it can be a daily driver for me personally I've got lots of apps on there as well so sorry for digressing but um, I think um, I've said all that I needed to say on this um, uh, issue. I hope it's been informative. Uh, it's probably not not um, uh, very fluid as I had intended, um, but um, yeah, uh, the you'll probably find that the name you give the the actual drive will will get lost as well. And for me personally, it happened twice, and then on I think on the second or third time. It just kept the name and it didn't change it again. So I've left it as OneDrive 2 with the letter O for the actual drive. So now, just to show you uh, in action, if I go into my hard drive and if I just get, let me just get a, one of these apps here. So if I get this um, uh, OO Shut Up file, which is a really good application. If you don't know what OO Shut Up 10 is, look it up. And I've just dragged it into my OneDrive mapped drive. Okay, now that's created a shortcut to that. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't want a shortcut. Let me just do copy, copy, and then paste. Okay, so now let's put it in properly. So let me just create. Uh, let's see what's happened. So I've got the shortcut, and I've got I've got the actual file that I wanted to transfer over into my second OneDrive. If I look at my OneDrive here, nothing is there, and nothing's ever going to be there. Basically, my my C drive is going to stay the same. Nothing's going to change, and that's exactly what I wanted. And I'm sure a lot of you probably have the same kind of situation. Uh, and if I go into my OneDrive here, you see I have the CFG uh, OO shut up file and the shortcut link which is no good now if i come back here let's delete um let's go into here let's delete this one from there and it will delete it from the onedrive because essentially you know it is uh, connected and it's gone and then if i could if i delete this one from here You'll see it will delete it from there as well. Refresh. It's gone. Okay. I think everything's been said. Hope this has been helpful. I hope um, you try this out. Great value. £79 pounds, uh, or 89, eight, sorry, £80 pounds for the year. Fantastic value. Five terabytes. Can't go wrong. You get Office. You get uh, OneNote. You get uh, 60 minutes on Skype. Uh, free calls uh, for every single account great value. Hope this has been uh, informative. Until the next one, take care. Cheers. Bye.